Right, morning guys. This is uh, just a quick video to show you how to remove a steering wheel from this 2013 Volkswagen T5.1 Transporter. Uh, a lot of the Volkswagens are very, very similar, so the process that I use uh, is probably going to be much the same for this sort of age. So the tools you're going to need are a, a trim tool, a uh, small shafted flat screwdriver to get behind the, to release the springs. Uh, a handy little spline set, so this is an M12 spline socket uh, ready to take the main nut off and then also uh, a T30 Torx. Uh, and once you need the T30 Torx that will be to be able to remove the um, windscreen wiper and indicator stalk which is what we're doing also a bit later on so we'll show you that as well. So the first thing that I always do um, is I remove the lever at the bottom so that I can adjust the steering column and I can pull it out and down. Uh, just so I can show you, let's just move the steering wheel. Now, most important thing here is purely just to get this top bit of cowling off. Some people don't do it. I prefer to have a much better angle to work at with getting this off, so I have to mind my head. But So I'm going to put my hand in underneath the bit of trim here, and with a bit of lever, I'm just going to lift the trim tool underneath. So once you've got the first corner up here, like so, you should make it much easier because you can just get the trim tool and you can give it a bit of a spring up. You do have to be quite forceful, but not too forceful because you can break it. So once this whole trim on one side has been released, sometimes you will have to do it the other side. Sometimes it just pops off like so. So there's that top trim. So what I'm going to do now is just going to show you in here, you've got some clips. You've got two in the middle and you've got these ones at the side. But these ones at the side, you need to be quite careful with because if you're not careful, uh, you could break the little lugs that, uh, that hold them in uh, and then it won't sit in properly. So once you've pushed that up towards the engine bay and released the first clip, so like so, I'm doing this so that I can show you, so my head's in the way. So first clip and center piece released. I'll do the same the other side. Okay, and then release that last one. So what we can do is we can remove that and safely to put it to one side, and then you can tuck that leather bit away. Now, this is the exciting bit. So once you've had the engine running, you can move the, steel, uh, the steering wheel to a 90 degree. So you've got it as you would normally, move it to 90 degrees, dead straight okay so 90 degrees and then using a trusty smartphone with a forward-facing camera what I do is I'm going to select the forward-facing camera and with my short screwdriver here you may or may not be able to just to see with the camera possibly not what we do is we try and grab some pictures and see if we can inlay that but are you managing to get that? Mm -hmm. So what we're doing now is you can just see a little silver clip mechanism. So with the screwdriver going in behind the steering wheel like so, I'm trying to do it so I don't get in the way, you're going to bend that clip down and what happens is it releases it from the tab. And you might have just seen the airbag then spring out a little bit. Now sometimes when you do this you might find when you turn the engine back on uh, that the horn goes off because of course it might be resting on one of its plates. Don't worry about the airbag, you haven't unplugged it so it's not going to go off, uh, but please be careful. So I've turned the ignition on, horn's not going, and I'm going to spin the steering wheel round to, well I've just done it 180 degrees so I've got the other angle now. So let's do it that, take the key out and do exactly the same. Okay, you can just see the mechanism. I'm gonna put my screwdriver in, bend down, and you have to have a little bit of force there, but using the right short screwdriver, you've got enough tension there to be able to do that. So, take the smartphone away. Okay, so after we've released both, you'll be able to see now that the airbag is now sitting proud of the steering wheel. Again, don't worry, airbag won't go off. 
Uh, I'm now going to just put the key back in the ignition, start her up, because the most important thing here that we need, um, the most important thing that we've got here is um, being able to move the steering wheel back to its normal straight position so that the wheels are dead straight. If in doubt, get out the vehicle and make sure the wheels are straight. So take the key out of the ignition, put to one side. Airbag will just pull out towards you. At the same time, you'll see the yellow, the main yellow airbag clip. I can't pull it out any further, I'm afraid, so hopefully you can see that. Now, you won't always have one of these, uh, but this is a safety clip here. Um, this is all flexible, so you can put your finger or a screwdriver in, but preferably your finger so you don't do any damage. And it's sprung loaded, so what you can do is bring the clip. So without pulling the yellow clip, just pull the white clip towards you. And as you put it towards you, it releases the safety mechanism. And then that spring clip will clip back in. And that's when you can take the airbag off, like so, uh, and put it to one side. So that's the airbag, careful not to damage it. Now, this is where you're gonna see the uh, M12 spline bolt. So this is where your handy t uh, kit comes in here. So it's an M12 spline socket. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna undo this now. When you do it back up, yes, you will have to torque it up to a certain torque, but uh, with these, uh, they're either relatively easy to undo or they're incredibly uh, tight and you're going to see me uh, groaning in a second. So, right, I'm just going to undo this just by putting a bit of pressure in. Okay, so that one, that one was quite easy to do, no problem. And in while I've been doing that, I've also put the steering wheel lock on, but no drama anyway, because I've got the diagnostic machine. I'm just going to turn the wheel back to its factory position, like so. Uh, of course, that will register a fault with the airbag, but if you're already doing this procedure, you're gonna have the VCDS or VAGCOM. So let's get rid of that um, M12 socket. Okay, there it is. You can take that away, put it to one side. Now, this is where you need a blade, because I'll show you. Before you take your steering wheel off, you must mark, you must mark here where that center point is on the steering wheel. Because if you can see there, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, Tim. If you can see there, if you were to line up your steering wheel with the center of this, because this probably had tracking or camera adjustment done at some point, it's considerably off, or whoever put it on in the factory didn't put it on straight. So if you were to line these two up, your steering wheel would be completely wonky donkey. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in line with this center point here. I'm gonna make my mark. Okay, so if Tim zooms in on that, you should be able to see that I've made my mark with a blade on the main steering wheel. And then at this point, pull the steering wheel off. That's it, put it to one side, uh, and you're now at the next stage for removing the bottom cowling and the clock spring.